Welcome traders, Patrick at TraderTrading123.net. In this video, we're going to talk about using NinjaTrader 8 and some of the features for you newbie traders that are new to NinjaTrader 8 that, that you have to learn. And the first thing is when you get NinjaTrader loaded and ready to go, all set up with your accounts, you go over here to the new tab. This is the control center. It's got these tabs on the top and the tabs on the bottom here. Your main concern, the first thing, is how to set up a new chart. So basically, you go here, hit the new, you select chart. This box appears, and then you would select, say, the NQ, and then this data series comes up. And then you hit OK, and then it'll put a new chart on your computer. Let me bring that over. So here's the chart with the trading one, two, three Renko bars. So that's how you add a new chart. Now, most of you are probably purchasing indicators and software, and when you do that, we will need your machine ID to program your license for your computer. Now, to, to find that out, you go over here to the Help tab, click on that, click on it, and then basically here's some of your resources. For some of you that are new to Ninja, may want to spend some time learning on the help guide a lot of powerful information there on how to use the software set things up and use the system and then this is email support remote support this is where you go and download new upgrades and then third-party licensing you don't need to worry about that or the license key you want to go to the about tab here click on that and a new box will appear so after you click that tab, this About Ninja Trader will come up. And this is the version that you're using. You always want to make sure you're using the most current version of Ninja Trader so our indicators and strategies work. And here we are on version 8.0.20.1, 64-bit license. And what we need is the machine ID. That's this line right here fifth line down. We don't need the license ID, we need the machine ID. This is the long number with no dashes in it. So you copy and paste that after you purchase our software. We'll send you an email and you email your machine ID to us so we can program your license. Again, this is that we need the machine ID, not the license ID. License ID will not work. That's something totally different. So send us and copy and paste it because each digit, I mean, if you type this in, you don't know if that's a zero or an O. And if it's one digit off, the database is not going to recognize it. And then you'll get an error saying that you don't have a valid license for the software. So make sure you copy and paste it and send it to us in an email or on the order form when you're ordering the software. And then another feature that's very important in here is the workspace. Basically, you want to, each time you exit, you go into the control center and save the workspace as you exit. And then under tools here, so you save everything that you set up, like if you just made a bunch of new charts with indicators on it, you want them to be there the next time. You don't want to spend 10 minutes setting everything up again. So the Tools tab, um, most of the stuff you don't really need to, um, you know, if you want to remove an indicator, this is what you do here. Go in there and select that, and it'll bring up a list, and it'll, you, if you need to uninstall something, instead of just deleting it from your computer. And then the database management, you know, every third or fourth week of the month you want to look at this to see if there's a new update for 
the futures if there's a rollover and if there is basically it'll be in here and it'll have the names and you just hit rollover and update and then you're all set so especially if you trade crude oil in the ESNQ futures YM uh, usually Ninja Trader will send you alert of when those are being updated um, but if some reason you notice that the volume is really light on the strated on the future that you're trading, it's probably because it had a a rollover. So that's the basics on how to set up a new chart and find your machine ID and everything you do in Control Center is right here. So get familiar with all these. This is where you connect to your data feed. So get familiar with all these tools within the control center. And then when you have orders placed, they'll be under here. If you have some strategies, they'll be listed here. And these are your log files. You click on that if you ever have an error, something's not working right, it'll be listed in there and it'll be colored all orange. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck with your trading. Till next time, be safe out there. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter and Facebook.